Okay. Oh my god. Getting random text messages from school that they've given my daughter her medication. I'm like, that's nice of you. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. That I guess that means she's going to bed. So we'll go that as a as a woohoo. Well done. Is she in Canberra at the moment? Canberra in Canberra. Yeah. Um, so, at the end of last session, you um, had defeated um, a, a green dragon that uh, Godot had um, reliably informed you that uh, a dragon lives uh, down um, to the south of Velaki towards um, uh, the ruins of the um, the city of Berez. And uh, after you know, going past a, a large, um, abandoned-looking, uh, ruined castle um, and into the swamplands beyond, you um, battled with this uh, uh, green dragon. Um, and uh, there's a party token up there at the moment um, yeah. for reasons that will become evident. Um, and um, so, uh, are you going to do any looting, or are we leaving the dragon here and moving on? Is he just no, sitting no, no. on top of boards and <laughs> the 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 lair of this dragon you you can see was was just across where you were. So you actually chased him back to his lair and then fireballed him in the face, and he flew out, which was fortunate. Um, so yeah, that so you can go and have a look and see what he's sitting on. You, you know, beware that he is sitting on a layer in Barovia where, you know, the common man earns like three copper pieces. So there's not an enormous amount of treasure to be had in Barovia. Can I approach the horde and activate my Eldritch Sight to see anything magical? Yeah, there is magical stuff in the horde. There we go. I would like to single the magical stuff out if I can. Okay, you can single the magical stuff out of the horde. Good, and then I'm going to sit down and identify all of trouble me with that. As a ritual? As a ritual. Okay. How about? So, how long does it take you to cast identify as a ritual? I'll put spell slots. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Can I look for any toys? You can. Okay. There's a there's a lot of stuff. So you might want to prioritize. But you know. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So you are currently in a swamp, where there were a whole load of. Hang Frog on. people and armed guards who disappeared oh, off. We got a minute. Sorry. Yeah, Before yeah, yeah. You have... walks off. Maybe. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Uh, you're all leaving to death. Please wait for two seconds so I can bandage off. And I'll cast uh, mass fuel wounds. Cool. Uh, I just say, I don't have blood. Concerning. Uh, everyone gets 19 hit points. <laughs> I'm not leaving that. Yeah. 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 Dash, please. Okay. Uh, so, in terms so of in terms of mundane things and non-magical things, there's six thousand gold pieces. Whoa! That be yes. Only one Ethidry's, yeah, the, on it. Ethidry, uh, so. Six thousand gold pieces, two hundred platinum pieces, two thousand oh. silver pieces. Right, right. Oh. So six thousand gold, a thousand each. I'm not a math person. Six thousand plus two hundred no plus how many copper pieces? Right. Uh, two thousand. Oh, how many? Um, platinum? No, silver? so silver two thousand. And and two thousand and two hundred platinum. Oh. Six thousand gold. What the hell is platinum? Uh, it's yeah, ten. Oh, yeah. One platinum is ten gold. Well, so I'm, be, I'm too confused on the card. It's, it's so two hundred platinum would be two thousand so more gold if you want. Platinum. And three hundred and thirty-three silver. Yep. Wonderful. So we get, each get thirty-three platinum, thousand gold, and three hundred and thirty-three silver. Did you get that, Rose? Right. And how much am I? Hold on. Right, right, Chris, Chris, can you say that again for Rose? Sorry, my apologies. So you, we get a thousand gold, thirty-three platinum, okay, three hundred and thirty-three silver. 
I'm in the middle. Except I'm going to be too small. Wait, the extra circles can go in the morning, Lord. 333 silver. Yep, well, so far. Okay. There's uh, a very finely wrought um, gold and silver uh, brooch. Um, it looks like a, a fine piece of work. Uh, there is an em- <laughs> there's an embroidered silk handkerchief um, with a monogrammed S Uh-oh. in the corner. The red S. It's actually a white. It's a white handkerchief, a white silk handkerchief mm-hmm. like with a black. Red no, it's a black S, S in the corner. <laughs> there are three <laughs> emeralds. Three emeralds. There's a, a collection of diamonds. Mechanically, there's six hundred gold pieces worth of diamonds. So two. Yep. Okay. Are the emeralds anything mechanical or just treasure? Just wine? nice. Um, there's an hourglass full of shimmering sand. Is it magical? No. Okay. It's like a glorified. <laughs> it's a glorified egg timer, by the way. There's there's two bottles, one of a black liquid and one of what appears to be a powder or a dust that is not magical. Poisonous. Can I sniff the powder? Can you sniff? No, Can I sniff? <laughs> um, uh, do you breathe? Mechanically, I don't think so, no. Um... I'm not sure if you can sniff then. If you mechanically don't have lungs, you probably can't sniff. Can I do a nature check on this? Student? You can do a nature check on this. Yeah. Right. Uh, have you got expertise in poisoning stuff? Or proficiency in poisoning stuff? 23. Um, you recognise that the powder mm-hmm. um, is uh, something called um, a, a scomade spores. Um, oh. Yeah, skirmade spores, which are from um, a very particularly unpleasant um, mushroom, and they um, appear to have been made into a powder, which, uh, if inhaled, would be particularly unpleasant. Okay. We should give these to the child. <laughs> <laughs> have you got a... You've got poisoning, haven't you? I have poisoning. Yeah, so you can roll um, intelligence with any some intelligence some check you like with proficiency. Malachi? Mm-hmm. What is an intelligence check? Did you say? Uh, you, you pick a skill in which you have proficiency in, that's intelligence based. So history, maths, and nature, I think. Can I check the, the other one, the black one? Like, yeah. Uh, I'll kind of check, I guess. It's coming handy, what can I say? You can roll. So no. roll in, you roll in, uh, investigations fine. Yep. Yeah, no, no, it's alright. He's got poisoning. So. Yeah. Oh, well, create on poisoning. Oh, you know what both of these are, you know, and how they work, and you've read about them, and you've studied these, and you have been looking for this. This this would be like the gold pokey card of poisoning stuff um, in your little poisoning collection. So you would know. Uh, that the vial of black, um, or the little bottle of black liquid is black lotus extract. Um, and it's an ingestible poison. Mechanically, it's a DC 20 con save Ooh. and 10 D10 poison damage. So you have one dose of. Hmm. Nasty yeah. poison. And is, it, and is it one vial equals one dose? You've got one dose. It's an ingestible poison rather than a stabby stabby poison. Yeah. And it's DC 20 con save. And then 10 D10 or half on a, a, a passive save. Yeah. 
The other one is, as I said, ascomade spores, which is a powder um, and can be inhaled. Obviously, the risk of that is that everybody around you can also inhale it, unless you can find a better way of dispersing it. It would be a DC-12 consave. If they fail the save, they are stunned for 1d4 rounds. That's enough to do a little bit of damage. And if they pass the combo if they pass the con save, that it has no effect at all. If they fail the con save, then they are. Yeah, it's like in a little uh, a little bottle with a stopper in it, and it's got powder within it. You would need to work out how you might like to deliver that in a way that doesn't poison everybody around you. Um, so, in terms of things that flag on Eldritch site. Mm -hmm. There is, uh, there are one, two, three, four glowy potions. Mm -hmm. There is a book. There is um, what looks like a, a scarab beetle okay. um, and a scroll. And I will be taking the minute to identify all them. You go, to, you go cast for each of those, for each item. Yeah, so you've got one, two, three, on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it scomade? A scomade. A S C O M. I've got three detect magic because I'm so bold. Yep. Can I do the. So it was it? Four potions, a scroll, a scarab. My vision detect magic. Yep. So they're all definitely magical things. Oh, sorry, not detect magic. I'm running detect magic anyway. I'll collect all of them to identify later and then disseminate as me. Search function. So, what was it? It's four potions? Yep. So there's four potions. Four potions. Yep. Scarab, a book. A scarab, a book. Scarab, book. Yeah, scroll. 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 Yep. 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 I've got a to accept the car, so we can get a couple of hours of downtime. Mm. I can reach the car somewhere. Okay. So, yeah, I think I think you would, you, if you want to cast, yeah, identify it, multiple times. With an arcana check? Um, I think... Would. Yeah, you could try. When you say you're not bad at that time, I'm not bad at you. Plus seven. Plus seven? It's the T's and I can't. Oh, well, there you go. Can I give a help action uh, to Vulture's yep. Arcana check? Yep. That scarab looks awfully familiar. <laughs> I have actions just vaguely uh, <laughs> reminiscent. Uh, 22. Um, so you look at the scarab. Yep. Um, between between two of you, and they're, they're, they're looking it over and they're discussing, you think this is a scarab of protection. Ooh. Well, um, I'm afraid I have um, There's also uh, enough magical items for someone like you. Um, take I'll the scarab from me. I wanted to do. Oh, it's, well, a, actually, it's, a, it's a trifling little thing, really. Actually, no. I'm on the road of the other country. I know what that. Scarab of protection gives you advantage on saving throws against spells. Ooh, and it has good. 12 charges for if you fail a saving throw against a necromancy spell uh, or an effect on an undead creature, you can extend one charge to that's that's so fail to save if you're successful. One. Yeah, it gives you legendary yeah. resistance for 12 necromancy spells. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Or, un yeah. or undead creatures? From undead creatures, yeah. I think it is. Uh, so in the in the item in it's the uh, from. Page, it says yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, from, from uh, so it says uh, or a harmful effect from an undead from an undead creature. Would you like yep. to give me a quick hand to have a look at this book? Well, that's as far as I can be convinced after that. And when it's just looking over to want to see the book. Go for it. If you can help. Twenty three. Okay. Um so this book 
uh, is very definitely magical and is currently charged. Um, so um, this is uh, this uh, tome of clear thought. Mm. Oh wow! Where did you choose this? Right. No. Oh really? <laughs> but you need to pick who's going to do it, and to be able to get the time in, you will take the exhaustion reading it, because mm. you've got to the, the amount of reading you have to do within a very short space of time. So either you need a week of downtime mm. to read it cover to cover, Ooh, or that would be nice too. That would be nice. or you put all the time in to read it, but you'll take exhaustion in doing so. Because you'll have to read it every um, evening. If I did that, would you let me pick my extra wizard spell now? <laughs> that would be worth exhaustion. Um, anyway. It, it's in this book. If you read it in a certain period of time, maybe you start it. Is that not the function of all books? Yeah. This one will actually make you smarter. Not just give you more knowledge, it will actually increase your intelligence. Mm. That's not just the time of intelligence. Come clear for um, the um, other thing that's um, the other thing. Um, you are the one that uses intelligence the most. I found it useful in my my adventures. Yes, Ethedwy. There is um, also a, a file that you time. just recognise of a universal time. solvent. Mm -hmm. A universal so solvent. Weeks, so. No, it's um, it dissolves up to a square foot of any sticky stuff it comes in contact with. Right, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Including sovereign glue, it's the only thing that can Including get rid of sovereign glue. That's it's the, the only glue that doesn't come undone. The, mm -hmm. come undone. It's the only thing that will undo the glue that doesn't come undone. Sovereign glue and a movable rod. Oh no, sorry, you do need to achieve the scale of protection. What is it? Sticky solvent. It's called universal solvent. On my um, tuna sauce before. I only have the sauce with me, so I have one of those two things. Maybe better. Are we doing an hour to achieve the stuff, Emma? Mm -hmm. So, while you've been... Roll... Roll perception check. Nineteen. Okay. Me too. Okay. Join the club. So with the nineteen twenty-two, you who sort of finished sort of going through this dragon sword and you look up and the river that you did that was definitely there doesn't really seem to be there anymore. And the dragon's still there. Um but you appear to be largely surrounded um, by swamp. Uh, the mists have become really thickened. Um, it seems much darker, even though I think it's... we need to move. Okay. Um, can I do a nature check to see if I know what's happening here, or if yeah. I've heard of this happening? Yep. Can I do a history check based on the yes. books that I've read? Yes, you can. Uh, I do a check to see if there's any dragon's body that I'm not Yes. Uh, nature? 16. Um, so, you... This, this isn't an effect on the dragon, as far as you're aware. Um, you're not... You've not come across anything like this. Um, you think this must be some kind of baroviable thing? thing. Um, it doesn't. the The entire environment doesn't look different. It's still heavy swampland. It's just. It's very unclear now where you came from mm -hmm. and uh -oh. which way you would go. You seem to have ended up much deeper into this swamp than Could be. than then you remember you remember being quite close on the edge just mm. uh, just past the castle you can't see the castle anymore and you seem much deeper into this swamp than you were before i'm sure it's not going to be this simple can i do a survival check to determine if we have changed location mm. or yes 
and better yet find a uh, not huge under 10, uh, 12, so. Okay. Um, you definitely don't think that you're out of the swamplands of Berez. Mm-hmm. Um, and the information coming from your hawk is that you're very much definitely in the swamplands of Berez. The, the, um, the stone circle is further south of here. Mm-hmm. Um, but you, you're now surrounded by swampland, um, in really heavy mist. The underfoot is really boggy and heavy. Um, I will relay that to everyone. Maybe we should get out there and discuss before we get into the mist. Ah, that's the thing. Um, you know that, uh. Dragon scale and dragon hide is useful. You can make uh, armor. Um, if you can get some teeth, uh, they would certainly be sellable for significant amount of money. Um, if it's if you could get enough uh, dragon hide off this creature, uh, Scran might be able to turn that into a nice suit of armor you think that given that this was a a, a poison related dragon that, that that some of that um resistance may be conferred that you might get some benefit from that yeah. i'm gonna activate my own slot again yeah and just see if the fog itself is um no it's um it's the same fog that permeates the whole of barovia it doesn't appear to be any different Who's the best at nature? Not me. No. Would you know? Um, uh, um, got it. Got it. Got it. No, I would not. So we're getting used to it. Yes. 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 I'm all right. Um, uh, Dotto's. Oh, uh, uh, yes. Would you know if there's anything good about dragon blood? I feel like there's good stuff about dragon blood. DM, can I do a check on that? Uh, yeah, natural survival. Wonderful. I like nature better. Uh, hell yeah, that's a 27. Um, with a 27, you um, would know that the, the blood of this particular dragon you would be able to potentially use in making um, both poisons mm-hmm. and potentially resistant to poison mm-hmm. potions. But you would need some additional help. But the, the potion lady in um, in Valaki. Well, I have the potion kit, which I'm sorry, poison kit. Which yeah. So you could probably turn it into poison, and mm-hmm. Anya at Third Eye Potions would probably be able to turn it into resistance, resistance to poison potions, and would probably pay for uh, mm-hmm. Dragon's Blood if you wanted to take her some. How many bodies you get with a poison? I've got a. I've got alchemist supplies, but that presumably has a. No, it has some glass vials and bottles and samples yeah. as well. You just say I'm wrong with D four, and that's how many bottles are there. Clearly, it should be D twelve. <laughs> what's, what's the DMG on that? D six, maybe. Yeah, you can go through D six. Right. Three. All right. So okay. before you got three, while you're harvesting skin and scales, okay. we'll take three vials of blood. Okay. A survival check to Anything try to and take the 27 for uh, the, the, one you the 27. Check the so, the with the 27, mm-hmm. you know how important it is. Mm-hmm. If you can explain to me how you are going to skin this dragon blind mm-hmm. or with your, your yeah, eyeballs, or you've got all those, I'll stand behind Malachi okay. and relate to them the how incredible, to do it in an incredibly dry academic tone the corporal, corporeal nature of the dragon's physique. Okay, mm-hmm. so that so you can whoever's I'll cutting back, this dragon, <laughs> whoever's cutting this dragon, needs to roll survival check. Uh, can anyone provide uh, survival? Oh, you're better at survival. Than that. Okay, so you've managed. You, there's quite a significant amount of damage. I mean, you fireballed this dragon. <laughs> um, but you think you've probably managed to get enough usable dragon hide um, to potentially be able to um, make a sort of chest piece um, 
Can um, I take the eyeball? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> take an eyeball. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> got an eyeball. Okay. Um, as you're as you're going in looking uh, at the eyeball, one of the things you do find, um, which nobody else has been really interested in, because it doesn't appear to be overtly magical, is that there is a small wind-up toy in this in this in the dragon's eye. In in no in oh, the, okay. as you as you went in yeah. to. Yeah. And it, by where its uh, head had fallen, you found this sort of small wind-up toy. Can I wind it up? Mm, you can wind it up. Um, this small wind-up toy is um, uh, again looks potentially Blinsky-esque in its origin, um, and it's it's a little mechanical man, and as it runs, it it starts to lope and then appears to turn into a werewolf and then turns back. So kind of like a clockwork transformer. Um, and it, yeah, yeah, it transforms into this werewolf and then goes back into this young boy and then back into a werewolf and then back into a young boy. Can I get it? And I'll walk over to Malachi and I'll say, this could have been you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's actually quite an interesting <laughs> It's very well made. Yeah. Um, does it have like a make this mark on it? Uh, it does have. Uh, it does have a tiny B mm -hmm. engraved on the bottom of the one foot. It looks very Blinsky like. Can it I has his vibe. Can I try and message into the toy's head to see if it will talk back to me? Yes, you can. Hi, friend. It's messages back. Are you coming? Are you coming? Is someone coming? Do I recognise the voice? Um, roll history. Not my strong suit. Ten. Uh, I'm just you, staring at it. Then. You don't. It's a it's a male voice. Mm -hmm. Sounds young. Uh, you don't recognise the voice. Mm -hmm. I'll just say the toy's talking to me. <laughs> yeah, it wants us to help it. Sounds about that. I have I mean, course, really. Look, look. I'm going to be honest. I have I have to know for myself. I have to. Know. I can't protect thoughts. On the on the... Well, well, I can read any book, but I'm focusing on the thoughts coming. Uh, there's no thoughts coming off the toy. I don't know how it spoke to you. It's not, there's no thoughts coming. Hmm. Maybe it only talks to me. And then she'll walk off in a direction talking <laughs> to us. Don't get too far, we can't see you. Okay. Did anyone else grab those emeralds? I will. So from here, it's really claustrophobically closed in, even with dark vision, magic, you know, eldritch sight. About what you can see is about as far as you can currently see. This is odd, it's extremely thick. I'll just take two of them Uh, roll 1d12 and see how many teeth you managed to pull out without breaking them. Fortunately, that's a one. Uh, you successfully get one beautiful dragon's tooth, absolute glorious. And then it got carried away, and then they just snapped at the at the gum line, and mm. you know, just and there's a couple that are broken where it crashed into the um, where it got Eldritch blasted in the face and crashed into the floor. And could I, if we're yep. having fog, send Samuel out 
Yep. And kind of scout uh, ahead. Yep. Uh, look for eyes no further. Like, I'm going to clear anything. Let's not see if there's anything yep. immediately near us of interest. Can okay. I, can I take some rope, tie it around myself, and then hand it to Goto and say, let's not get lost. All right. That's actually like one of those kids with the backpack leashes that you get. That's actually not a bad idea. Okay. So, so, um, so you tie it to yourself and then tie yourself to someone Your hawk flies off, and as soon as it goes up, you know, fifteen foot above the ground, you can almost not see the ground. It's just this thick ground fog. All you can see really in the immediate vicinity is swamp. All right, come back to me. Well, I'm of no use. I think this is something deeply unnatural. So we're on an island, are we? No, you somewhere at the moment you appear to be surrounded by swamp, and you can't see back the way you came. You've um, um, there should be a castle. Hypothetically, yes. Fog is moisture. Would you let me shape water to try and part some of the fog? Yeah, you can try. I'll walk up to the edge of the fog and try and part some of it. Yep. Um, You walk up and as you try and shape it, it almost becomes solid and goes up around your hands and then just fills the gap. I don't think that's normal water. That's that's not normal. Should we pick a direction? Yeah. (laughs) Emma, we tie can ourselves and work out what direction the castle ought to be in. Um, you would think that the castle is probably south from here, okay. but only because that is what you thought when you came in is that you came from coming down from Velaki, you went past the castle and then into the swamp. It should be so. I don't uh, sorry, I, I would like. So that would be, that would be north from where you are. Wonderful. Sorry. And, I, and do I, can I start heading north? Do you check for that or not? No, you can head north if you want to. There's another thing. While the tech force is up, mm. anything within thirty feet that has uh, an intelligence, I think, of above the relight in a sense. Uh. <laughs> Not within thirty feet, other than other than, you, other than you guys. Other than, yeah. I can just pick up and talk to them. Yeah. You probably just hear Antoinette coming. I'm not. No, I'm not. I have a latch on me. I'm just. But there's. But there's anything to say to me. So. How are we going to? How are we going to track each other? We're going to see you. No, we're all tied off. No, that was what was going on. That's very good. We sound off every once in a while. Let's let's, let's not make too much noise. Let's try and make it quiet, just in case there's something in the fog. It could be worse than anything that can happen. Quite strong. It could be worse than anything that can happen. So you're... There's a swamp witch that lives around here. Um, I go... Didn't you read the storybooks? I bring out one of the books that we've got. Thick, aged, ancient. I've I've been back in Barovia all of what three weeks. Okay. So how those kind of children get outside of here? So as you're as you're heading. Um, over it, away from the the dragon, it you come across what appears to be a, a path, um, very limited vision. You can literally just see five, ten feet in front of you. It's yeah. very. Considering visibilities on low, I'll have my eldritch side up the whole time, just in case. Yep. So can, if anything. Anything even remotely magical has anything that is on my computer. Yep. Country. Which way are you going? I think. Follow the path. Okay. Follow the path. Okay. Um, as you're as you're kind of walking um, along this path, you can hear 
um, this the you can hear frogs you can hear um, you can hear flies and uh, creatures um, roll um, uh, d20 decks decks mm-hmm. mm, everyone Dex save. Dex save. Twenty one. Twenty one. Yep. Fifteen. Yep. Seventeen. Okay. Okay. Twenty three. That's a great. Dex save. Yep. Uh, oh, Dex save or just Dex save? Oh, then it's a twenty. Okay. No, Twenty five. Okay. Um. You all recognize that alongside this path, alongside this path is um, really um, thick um, um, mud and that um, you think that this is likely uh, to be a sort of quicksand or thick, you know, that it mechanically difficult terrain that if you got stuck in there that you might actually get stuck uh in there that this 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 alongside this path is um revoltingly thick gloopy stick to the path and tread carefully emma you can only be into difficult terrain but i feel like this would impact me still um you feel pretty confident that yeah, um, you wouldn't want to fall in it. Um, you don't think you can do a Legolas and walk alongside it. Um, you you would be um, certainly less at risk of getting stuck, but you would you would be concerned that uh, if these guys fell in, that they may you know lose their belongings, get yeah. stuck there altogether. Um, d- it could be really, you know... We sp- know the way. Good. Yeah. 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 Probably you can, you can uh, okay. decide what... Um, but whoever's first is going to have to basically navigate the way. Actually, I like the idea of the blind leading us. <laughs> I've got the south of healing up front happening all the way in the front. Yeah. 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 I don't need, but I mean, if you don't need, unless it's a survival check to find a way, in which case, someone else can Can we hear anything like, you know, animals, crocodiles, lions, we had some frogs. You can hear frogs. You can, um, perception check. Can I determine if those are frogs or more frog people? Yep. Is that also perception? Yep. 16 on perception. Okay. 19. Okay, um, so with a 19 um, and a 16, you, you think both. You think that there are both frogs and you think that there are uh, also frog people in here. You can almost hear uh, a difference between sort of croaking and language mm-hmm. and communication. Uh, Ethered we with a 19. You recognize. Oh, no, you what were you? Uh, 16, I think it was. Yeah. <laughs> you think some of this sounds very familiar and not in a, in a frog people kind of way. It further back than that. Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> you you think you've heard croaking like this somewhere else? Um, they're not speaking in primordial or silver. <laughs> no. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> or abyssal or something? No. Okay. Celestial frogs. <laughs> Celestial frogs. <laughs> that would be oh, awesome. Yeah, definitely not El Camellia's got Definitely. 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 So as you're walking, as you're walking down this, um, um, as you're 
Rubbish. As you're walking down um, uh, this... Can I say something? Absolutely. Yes, of course. As we're talking about the frog people. The swamp witch has frog people to help her. I'm getting a little more of a concern about the swamp witch. I, I would think the manipulating frog would be definitely good in this isn't metagaming, is it? Because the books are... The books are their books. Yeah. They've had access to the books. Mm. They may or may not have read the books, but they have had access to the books. She just thinks they're stories. She doesn't know they're real. Can I do a, some sort of intelligence check to see if Dotto's read these books? Um, In the fact that Galen hasn't? <laughs> um, you kind of acquired them. Mm. Um yeah, you can read straight intelligence because you walked out of the woods with a backpack and a and a staff and ran into this lot. Uh, straight intelligence. No, uh, seven. Um, no, you've been very focused mm-hmm. on finding a dragon mm-hmm. because that's what you came here to do. Right. And this random collection of stuff that's in this backpack, exactly. and you didn't have any eyeballs for a good choice exactly. for a good chunk of that time. So unfortunately, you haven't read this book. Um, as you're walking down the path, you come across this 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 hut, shed, dilapidated, run-down, ruined building in a swamp. Is this what we can see? This you can see that. And it's raining, I know. And it Nero is raining. And you're always thinking the doll was joking about something. It's a good story. Well, let's head north. Listen, it's raining for me. It's that shelter seeming inviting. This story about the swamp witch, are they uh, helpful? Are they... Are they good one, yes. She thinks she's a fae. Oh, okay. And she thinks she's Strad's mum. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I think okay, let's go. I, 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 I read a word. I, I have a word for this. Uh, delusional. Yes? Maybe. Presumably something but yes. or, is, or is it insane? Maybe she needs my help. Are you going to be burnt her? No. Exercise. I can burn. Oh. As as burn as, as you're as you I say, you can hear this really <laughs> deep. It. No, 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 you can hear this re- you can bolt, it's fine. No, I want you to can hear this really deep croaking noise. Uh Ethid we roll either perception or history, whichever. Um uh Harleen as well. And Vash and Malachi. Perception or history. Oh, we don't get it when you yeah. I got a 16. 16. Um, so Malachi, re- perception or... Okay, you recognise this noise. Um, and you recognise this noise as the same noise that um, uh, your friend Quinny uh, conjured uh, several of these creatures on a regular basis to eat... Um, oh. eat your enemies. Um, so out of out of the out of the the swamp in front of you, um, you can see their eyes crawling out of this uh, huge swamp in front of you. Uh, two giant toads. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Humanoid or just giant? Oh, friend of ours. Pardon? Friend of these are not human toads. These are, you recognize these. These are the giant toads that ate the Burgermaster. Um, and these are the giant toads that ate um, uh, the coffin maker's shop and all the vampires within it. I suppose any of you can talk animals? Oh, I can. They don't have much to say. But did you like tell them that they're not here? Causing harm, but it's not. God, I will very begrudgingly use speak with animals through my um, range of bullshit. Um, I feel like we <laughs> <laughs> outside a game. This would have been a great spot to put uh, you know, a retro flashback of Mama Odie and the yeah. Oh, Mama Odie. I like Mama Odie. Hello, swampy friends. 
Um, uh, they do not appear to be taking any notice of you at all. I'm in peace. Uh, they are not taking any notice. They are uh, no response. They are not trying to communicate with you. Uh, they are um, gearing up to what looks like come at you. Um, can I please? Yes. Sixty foot of this hut. Uh, you're within sixty foot of the hut. Yes. Can I please use my uh, yes. We're about to die. Yes. Um, uh, hunter's sense to see yes. if there's any. Uh, not that, you know, Sorry, all the range of stuff is oh, about so similar to each other. twenty foot in front of you. They've just come out of this swamp, the swampy bit. Can I minor illusion some flies? Mm. You don't need to really minor illusion them. There's loads mm. of them. Oh, okay. Probably they're about to. But before you do anything stupid. I'm not going to do anything stupid. I'm just preparing the spell. Getting ready to cut this. I don't have what I thought I had, sorry. Slowly, but looking at the frogs. I'll be backing, backing up slowly with my hands up. Would I do some sort of a check to try to determine if these are under the control of some sort of creature? Um. Under um, themselves. Um, like something yeah, like yeah, you could roll a nature or arcana. Uh, that is a 21. No, you think they just live here and you've just sort of gone marching through their habitat. Wonderful. Let's all back away slowly. Mm-hmm. We're going to head off. I uh, myself in with the word. Will these things eat uh, rations? Um, they're looking at the moment much more interested in you big people okay. than they were. They, I mean, these are large beasts. And um, while you're backing away, you also hear a branch crack behind you, and you hear um, movement in the uh, in the hut in front of you. Oh shit! We're going to be damaged. What's going on with what? I'd like to use a step of hidden beast and just vanish. Okay. Uh, Invisibility. Are you going to drop the bros? Hi! (laughs) (laughs) Just like falls backwards into the mud. Okay. Uh, Yes, I'm I'm dropping the bros. I've got one more of them. I'm not not going to get bad very quickly. Oh, you're so negative. I <laughs> suppose my big brother will be along next. He's much bigger than me. Okay. Um, I'm not going to taste them. Okay. As you, um, you're about you're about forty, fifty feet from the hut. There's two large giant toads, sort of in this swamp. Uh, uh, in front of you, um, and you can hear something behind you in the the swampland. Which, when you look back, you can only see sort of five, ten feet uh, behind you. The, the, the path, these, these the path behind you, um, it may well be there. You just can't really see it anymore in the and fog and the and the rain. And can I misty step beyond the frogs and try and get into the hut? Yes, you can misty step. So, so uh, uh, frogs in between us and the hut. Yep. Oh, shit. Um, hmm. I'm going to slowly walk up to the toad and just be in the corner and be like, hmm. Need you no know, harm. Strong. Uh, as you're walking up to the. As you walk. How close do you get to these toads? Oh, no. uh, I'm, I'm on the doorstep. I'm trying to step. walk wrong, so I'll just keep going until Okay, time. roll for initiative. Yeah. Yeah. Did I get the chance to misty step for him? Uh, you, you have misty stepped. Um, invisible, do anything to your initiative? Um, no. Advantage? I don't think so. Okay. Maybe can't find anybody to use spell Yeah. It feels like it. I don't know. It's a, well, yes. it's, it's that thing, isn't it, where initiative is a dex based thing. It doesn't yeah, really do anything for. for... You may get advantage on your first attack, given that you are hidden and it's and it's effectively your first attack will be a surprise to them. But um, I don't think it would change where you sit in the order. 
Yes, row initiative. They're so cute. Yeah, I think Godo probably calls in the Latin name. Yeah, go for it. Ethidway. 29. Nice. Bash. Oh <laughs> yeah, 23. Yes. Uh, so I get plus 10. Yeah. 10. <laughs> Makes me happy, Malachi. Uh, Godo. Yeah. 16. Oh, no. I just want to be my strength in Harleen. I have negatives on strength and intelligence. Okay. Okay, Ethid, we are bash on deck. Alright, uh, How many frogs are there? Uh, there's two giant totes, and in front of you, coming out onto the sort of, um, uh, onto the little sort of almost porch of that, uh, of that shed, uh, you see two of the frog people that you saw before. Oh. Um, Antoinette appears in front of them. Um, oh. Misty steps right at, as they're coming out of this um, uh, out of this building to see what all the all the trouble. If is. Antoinette knew how to swear, she would look up and be like, "Oh fuck!" Oh, the frogs. Next. We'll right. we'll the them. toads. Yes, toads right? uh, so the toads are about oh, ten feet lost. apart. Oh, well, that is that is <laughs> um, so, go for your life. Double dagger attack. On which one? Pick uh, one. Uh, the one to the left. This one? Yeah, bigger feet. Oh, yeah. Uh, or, or this left. Yeah, go that one. That left. <laughs> the actual left left. Yeah. Ethid Way and Bash on Deck. Yes. Or have advantage. Um, <laughs> so I got a twenty-four and a fourteen. Hits. Oh. Wow. Mm. Okay. They're frogs. Oh. Alright. You know, Quinny used them for annihilating dead people. Yeah, they, weren't, they weren't the best. I remember. He didn't bring, bring them into battle. They did not work well. I was like, if you can if you can grapple something and then get a frog to solve it, they're great. But that's a lot of ifs. So <laughs> exactly, uh, yeah. <laughs> this would be so fun if Quinny was was still around to, uh, to have even more frogs. Oh, there'd be frogs everywhere. So a bunch of frogs, a bunch of frogs. So 17 regular damage, and then I'll put my sneak attack as well. Yep. That's a lot of dice. Mm hmm. 13. So 17 and 13. Six. Correct. 17. 30. Yep. I got there eventually. Yeah. No, in my head. I know it's like. Uh, um, so it looks really hurt. It, it it's not uh, it's not down, but it looks pretty sick. It's got one huge great dagger wing, almost cleaving its entire sort of front um, front limb off, um, and it, it's you can see blood. Pouring into the the swamp water around it. Mm -hmm. um, Vash, you're up. Uh, okay, so the entire time Vash has been preparing for something to go haywire. Okay. He's been probably molasses between his hands. Uh huh. So he spreads his fingers apart. <laughs> random. No, it's part of it. It's a skull component. Oh no, this is random. So he spreads his hands open. The molasses will blow slightly. And uh huh. Slow on the two frogs. Okay, okay. 
If you want the pain with molasses as a save, I can't. That is a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom save, yes. Um, if you're casting in a 40 foot cube, you're I'm going to get to only, Antoinette in it. I'm trying to only get the two of them. If I can position them. So, you know, as, I'll, as my bonus action, I'll pull Antoinette five feet forward. Oh. You, can, you can position it so they're right on the front edge and it's behind them, and then Antoinette's in front of them. So you well, can miss it. Well, I'm, I was going to tell them to pull That's, Antoinette towards me anyway. You can, they, you can miss her, so it's. Yeah. That's so fine. I get them and move her five feet forward. Can I willingly fail? Yeah. Yeah, you can normally go and do it. Okay. Yeah, you can go and do it. I've still got the rope attached. 14, 16. 14, 16. 16 passes, 14 fights. Okay. So the 14 has minus 2 yep. AC and yep. it's very certain throws. Yep. Can't use reactions, can only use an action or a bonus action. Yep. And can't use more than one melee or range attacking. So. Slow. Slow. Fine. Oh, which one's slow? That's silence. Uh, let's go for that one. That'll do. Doesn't really matter. Um, okay. So. Uh, the toad uh, that you hit is going to try and bite at you, uh, Ethedwe. Mm -hmm. um, no, they don't. But it's going to it's going to give it a. It's, why would you not when you're a giant? Well, bite certainly sounds better than like gnash, gum, a gum attack. Gross. Num num num. Num 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 num. Okay. Really, really aggressive pistols. All that. Eight. Useless toad. Um, the other toad is also going to turn around and jump at you. Mm -hmm. And that's even worse. It sort of reaches out um, and trips over its friend. Um, Godo, you're up. Antoinette is on deck. Mm -hmm. uh, I will... Uh, can I get over to where these two frogs are? Yep. Actually, I don't need to be in melee. Right now. Yep, anyway, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll just uh, pop out from the mud and take my... Uh, you said I got advantage for invisibility? Yeah. Advantage, yeah. Beautiful. I'm going to take... Uh, in that case, I do uh, uh, Stalker's Prey on my first turn for a d6. And then I'll take a Sharpshooter attack for so advantage. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a dirty 20. That hits. Wonderful. Who are you hitting? Uh, one of the bully ones. One of the crackers. So, yeah, this one's a croaker. Cool. Yep. One's not going to be slowed. Uh, this one is slowed. Cool. I'll go one that's not going to be slowed then. Okay. That's six, seven, eight, nine. That's 24 piercing damage. Nice. I can hit stuff. I'm really good in combat. I hit the dragon once and miss on every other time. <laughs> uh, that's action, bonus action, and then I would like to, uh, if I can get cover in the swamp, that would be cool. Yeah, you can, you can uh, try to hide if you want to. I don't have the action. No, but you can fine. roll stealth yeah. and see whether or not you successfully managed to use your movement to... That's very funny. That's a 20. That really you... Disappear back. back everybody, back. everybody, look. Something <laughs> flew out, blast, and then disappears again uh, into into the swamp below. Okay, Antoinette, then Malachi, um, then Harleen. I want to cast catapult. So can I line the two of them up? Uh, yeah. So at the moment you're five foot back, but you're in front of them, so you'd have to move to the one side. Yeah. If I can move a little bit out, yep. Of that range, and then line them up for a catapult attack. Yep. Um, that's going to be a deck save, DC sixteen. For both of them. Yeah. Um, one's an eighteen. Yeah, that's and one is a ten. That will not 
So the slow one, oh, the slow one fails its deck save. Um, and that'll be a uh, 15. 15. Eleven damage. Not great. Um, with my bonus action, can I yep. telekinetic shove one of the toads further back into the grease? Uh, we both got telekinetic. That's so good. I took it to school. Which one do you want to move? Um, whichever one's closest so to getting this... out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, so yeah. further back in. Um, yeah. Okay. Any move? Any other move? Yeah, I'll just get as far away as I can. From okay, me. that's fine. Uh, Antw- uh, Antoinette, Malachi, Harley, Malachi, and Harley. Um, um, can I walk through the boats? <laughs> they'll get. They'll both get an opportunity to attack on you. The big toads at the front. If you yeah. walk past the, if you walk through the middle of them, they'll both get an opportunity the, to attack. Um, the ones at the far end of the other, the toad people. Yeah. Uh, from where you are now, they are about fifty feet. Have you got scarf I Oh, ho, ho. Love yeah! You see, every time, every time That's I cast I Radiance to the that. Dawn, I God, died God, immediately God. afterwards. That was the rule. The level is like one to four, and it's because so, the just run to the front lines, come to the top. So you got to make a concept. Yep. The two big toes, the small one. I mean, that's the way to go out. Yeah. He's a striker. <laughs> <laughs> 22 19 No, I just rolled really well. Okay. Uh, the one on the left is vaporized. Um the one that um, had been uh, sneaked on. Uh, so this one is vaporized. Um, anything else you'd like to do? Uh, yeah, bonus action. I know, all the dogs are out. And this one is dead as a, a dead thing. That's you. Uh, Harleen. Right. They were in your way, and they certainly went to attack. Yeah. Okay, they went. To attack. They did. Yeah. Uh, I'll just go the big toad. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Warhammer V toad. Excellent. That's what we like. I think that hits. It's a toad. Yeah, it hits. That's uh, four damage. Okay. Um, um, I think so. Yeah. Yep. Yes. <laughs> nice. Excellent. Anything else? That's traumatic for that kid that Okay. Okay, so the um the the two uh froggy people um in front of you um uh, start to to move out to attack uh, so uh the uh the one uh, that got hit by the catapult i know the other one is slow the one who got hit by the uh, catapult is uh going to try and um uh, stab antoinette with its spear
Uh, 24 to hit. Yeah, that hit. Actually, that's going to be a piece of garbage. Okay. And so that's a garbage. Rogue. Rogue. Chris, your next attack is going to be a bit of garbage. Hmm. Uh, 17 to hit. Yeah, that still hits. Okay. Leave her alone, you scale bastard. Cutting more. Everyone loves this creepy little girl. I don't know why. Uh, I think it's a D8. That's minus five on that attack roll. So it's at 17, so that would go down to a 12. So it comes, it's staggering, and it slips on the mud as it comes forward with the spear, and the spear just goes into the ground right in front of your um, of your feet. Um, the, um, uh, the other one has very little to do. Um, it is going to try and throw its spear... Um, at um, at Vash because you slowed it and it's upset Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen to hit. That hits. Okay. One. Mm. Uh, so that's seven damage. Of the piercing variety. It can't do anything else. Um, out of the bushes behind you. I told you they were there. Out of the bushes behind you, um, you uh, hear this noise as this sort of almost um, uh, whistling um, um, uh, sound comes uh, comes past um, Malachi yeah so that's Okay. It's a 19 to hit, disadvantage. Uh, yes. Con save. Con save. Uh, you fall asleep. Uh-oh. Oh, so Malachi just falls to the ground, and as he falls, you see this uh, blow dart sticking out of the side of his uh, uh, neck. Okay, Ethedwy, you're up. So how's that throat looking? Um, oh, pretty sore. Right, I'm gonna finish it off. Okay. Is that advantage? Remember? So, uh, 27 and 23. Hits. <laughs> it being a toad. <laughs> it being a toad. <laughs> I don't oh, think it can right. survive that number of dice. <laughs> like, if you just draw, if you like, if you like, if you like dropped it on its head, I don't think it could survive that. Nineteen. Oh, yeah. Twenty-nine. Uh, that toad is just absolutely pasted. It's like, wacha, wacha. All its limbs fall off. It looks mm. like it's being filleted. I'm imagining it filleted like, in a French restaurant. Yeah, making some toad sashimi. <laughs> Imagine the, the two blades staying there. <laughs> and then you should retire. It's a giant box to stand on, so I can do it. It's a sushi train. Do you, you want to, to move? 
Uh, and those, those two are how far away from you? Those uh, so those are 35 feet in front of you. Yeah, 35 feet in front of you. Um, and the other one's about 10 feet behind you. So you can move away on this turn if you want to. Um, without disengaging. Are those ones near where your characters are? Antoinette. Are those, are those two um, that have been looked for near Antoinette? Yeah, Antoinette's about here. I'll go to, I'll go stand where Antoinette is. Okay. For sneak attack. Sneaky purposes. Really out of the goodness of your heart. Okay. Fash your up. Right. First of all, and then. Turn that way. You came up, you're after Vash. Oh, I'm after Vash. Cool, sorry. You came up, you vanished back sorry, into the mud. No, this, we're back. Uh, Ethergree's top of the order. Love the spear that hit me. Yes. That said is frog person who's slow. Yeah. And hex hit one back and hex. Slow the hexed frog person. And then I'm going to, as while staring intently, mm-hmm. slimy little bastard. It croaks out here. It still croaks, don't you? Why would you have to do Well, it's going to be a five with modifiers, so that's going to be a fail. Yeah. Oh, that's a seven psychic damage. Okay. And five necrotic damage. And yep. they have disadvantage on the next attack. Ouch. It's just mockery. Okay. Anything else you'd like to do? That is... Oh. No, I'm good. You good? Yeah. Dodo, you're up. Can I see where this blow dart came from? Uh, yeah. Um, it, you... Um, e- interestingly, it's easier to hear in the mud. Because uh, you can hear the sort of stepping. You can feel... I am it. You are the swamp. Um, you can you can sort of almost like tremor sense. You can feel this thing approaching, so it's behind you. Um, so about ten foot further back onto the, the so just coming out of the where you've just is been. It raining, is that it's just lying in the. Is it raining or is it just foggy? It's raining and foggy. Oh, okay. So you get special data. That's called not liking the rain. Am I mechanically hidden? Oh, beautiful. I'll take another. I'll take a bonus action, Hunter's Mark, for another DC. You are, because it's perception shit. It was too busy stalking these guys. And then I'll take another shark uh, attack. At the, at the, uh, the back, oh. the, uh, this guy down here? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's only a 12. Uh, that misses. Fair enough. I'll take my second shot. I do have multi attack, which I should have done last time, but that's fine. Uh, I think I don't have advantage on the second one, do I? If I was no, it knows you there. Take a regular attack. Thirteen. Uh, hits. Yes, there we go. Four in my hand. Uh, Thirteen. So this is my first hit. So that's these three. And you're on deck. Uh, four, five, six, nine. Eleven, uh, sixteen pierces. Okay. Uh, action. That's my bonus action. Um, and I'll, uh, if you'll, I'll try to get some cover again. If you'll let me, I'll use my hunter hide. Yep. So you can roll still. Let's see whether or not it. Uh, I rolled a twenty on the stealth last time. This time I rolled a nineteen for a total of twenty-seven. Again. Um, it, 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 it's watching, but it's got you know blood in its eyes. So it, you don't think you were seen. Okay, Antoinette. Um, I think I'm just gonna use one sorcery point, and I'm gonna twin mind sliver on those two bullywogs. Yep. So that's a intelligence save. Oh yeah, that's a strong save. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, so, 16 for a 14 and uh, 6 for a 4. Easy. Um, they'll take 8 damage and subtract to d4. Okay. 
Uh, so this uh, this croaker is dead. Um, they just hear a, a humming of a lullaby in their head, and it, and it just uh, keels over, um, sort of clutching its ear as this sort of trickle of blood um, uh, comes out. Um, there we go. Anything else you'd like to do? Um, bonus action. Yep. Can I? Can I shove that thing even further back into the... This one? Yeah. This way? Yeah. Yep. That's fine. So another five feet over there. And yeah, can I... I'll just move back a little bit. Oh, no. Effort we need some. Are you still getting flanking bonus from me? So no, you'd need to be within five feet of it for mm. Ethid we to get sneaky yeah, time from you. Yeah, I won't. I'll move back. Okay. Uh, Malachi, then you're up, uh, and then Harleen on down. Oh, you're asleep. No. You are asleep. Harleen, you're up. Where is sleeping Malachi compared to me? Sleeping Malachi is sort of on the floor at your feet. Roll, um, roll a perception check. Uh, you notice that sleeping Malachi has fallen asleep face down in the swamp. Um, so you could uh, you could do that as a free action if you want to just kick him. Um, <laughs> how, how pissed off are you with Malachi if you kick me into this quicksand? <laughs> Sorry, go on then. Sorry, what were you going to do, Rose? Sorry. Um, can I figure out a way to wake him up? Maybe rolling medicine. Uh, yeah, you can roll medicine and see if you can um, figure out what's up with him. Like being darting. Um, with a twelve, yeah, you you see the dart in his neck and pull that out. Um, he's breathing. He doesn't seem to be otherwise. He he seems very stable. He just seems asleep. Um. You're unclear how long he might be that way, but you kicking him over doesn't seem to have done anything to wake him up either. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'd like to use the remainder of my yep. So there's two. There's one kind of behind you down here at the bottom, and there's okay, one up by the. You going to take that? Yeah. Yeah. Take that, that one. one. Okay. All right. So it's, is that the end of your turn? Oh, you've got an action. Uh, did you use your action to med check Malachi? Oh, true, I did. Yeah, okay. Um, so it's their turn. Um, so the, the, uh, the, this one up by the house is going to try and uh, bite Ethedwe. Uh, and fails miserably with a four. <laughs> Can't do anything else because it's slow. It's what happens when you make them roll with advantage, a disadvantage. And um, uh, the other one is going to try and uh, bite uh, Harleen. 16. 19 to hit. Okay. Um, uh, that's three damage. Okay. Uh, I think we are up. No, I'm afraid not. Okay. Then I want you to see that. Uh, maybe 16 hits. Doesn't hit. First one hit. This one hit? Yeah. That's okay. Nine. Uh, takes his head off. <laughs> Clean <laughs> off his shoulders. Oh, that was right. That was sufficient for what I needed to do. Okay. Uh, Vashir. Okay. 
Uh, I'll move my, as a bonus action, I'll move my hex to the yep. remaining living creature. Yep. So I can see. And then he's going to look down, mutter to himself, well, I suppose, I suppose someone had better wake the old man up. Mm-hmm. I point at Malachi. Yep. Awaken. Cast command. Mm. That's interesting. That is interesting. And he's unconscious. <laughs> now he's unconscious. I would assume disadvantage. Um, hmm. The old man, it's a one word. Commands. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Roll the save with disadvantage. <laughs> Thank you for telling us. That is a... So yeah. You failed. You wake up. Uh, <laughs> Malco wakes up in the mud. Oh. What happened? <laughs> you were hit with a poison dart and you were not... Got to get up. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go quality of the quantum. Um, the one that's left, yep. I'll take some crossbow attacks. Okay. Uh, it's main main thing I've got. Crossbow action. Uh, mm. I've got a little tiny hand crossbow. So it's going to do three attacks. With it. I'm lucky. I'll take them all at um, sharpshooter. So that's a seven uh, at twenty-two hit. and a quick fail. So the middle one hit. Yes. One out of three in fact. Uh, the damage <laughs> I'm tempted. <laughs> Six, twelve, uh, 15, 18, uh, that's 33 piercing damage on one of the Eight, you're, you send one arrow wide, you send one arrow that appears to just fall at your feet and very narrowly miss your own feet and um, your hawk sort of sputters and then your arrow goes true, hits between the eyes and blows out the back of his head completely <laughs> and uh, he goes down. Fabulous sighting shots. Um, all appears to be still. All appears to be quiet and still in this... Yeah, can we get to the like, that house? Well, you are, you're virtually there. You and Antoinette oh. are virtually at the door. You've already got there. Yeah. Right. Right. Is, can we see? Is there a door or is there? Yeah, there's a there's um there's a sort of a broken down door. There's sort of one very battered hinge where it's been hammered into the. But yeah, there's a sort of door. Uh, roll perception check. Can I get a health action? <laughs> Can I try and get through a window or something? Sixteen. Uh, you can't hear anything else in here at all. I'm going to pop out so it's anything magical. No. It appears to be a shed. There is no response. I, you open the door and um, it, it, it's drier in here. Uh, there's some small areas, particularly along the, the sides where there's water coming in through the roof, but generally dry. It looks like this is a sort of um, a guard post maybe mm -hmm. for the uh, the bullywog that you've met before. Um, that they, they stay here. There's a bedroll on the floor. Um, so it looks like you sort of caught them having a having a yeah, having a nap. Um, but there doesn't appear to be anything else in here or anyone so else in here. We've killed the bully one that yes. Can I check some frog pockets? No witch you can collect some. You can check some frog pockets if you want to. I'm more looking for clues than me. Um, yeah. Okay. Roll investigation. Can I check out the inside of the house? See if there's anything. Yeah. 
that's only a seven. Um, there doesn't seem to be anything. They're rapidly just sort of sinking into the mud. Um, you notice that one had a, you know, a club and a spear. One had a dagger. One's got some darts, um, but rapidly um, seeking into the mud. What's the uh, midgy and secondary um, situation? Oh, there's loads. You can hear. You can hear the. Um, you can hear the midges and the mosquitoes um, uh, all around. Um, here you go. I'll even I will turn up the volume on the annoying mosquitoes for you. Is there any sort of you know, Palakian, a Barovian kind of arrow guard formula? That you could always put the poison. You're the you're the poisoner. Um, so. <laughs> The the are well, those are plants. Exactly. Yeah. Antoinette and Bash are fine. Okay. I've crawled into the bed rollers. Do you, you mind? I wasted a spell to wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we continue to... I got a 14. Well, and um, this, <laughs> this <laughs> looks <laughs> like... A sort of dilapidated shack. There doesn't look to be anything really here. There's no books. Um, there's um, a, there's a bedroll. There's a blanket. There's that's about it. That's where shelter from the. <laughs> Can I take the blanket? Yep. What time of day is it? Um, sort of mid afternoon, <laughs> early afternoon. Mm -hmm. Does it, the path terminate here? No, there's um, I go back to the. I, it doesn't. It doesn't look like um. It doesn't look like the um, the path terminates here. It looks like the path goes sort of around. Um. Roll um. So I'll start telekin I'll start telekinetically nudging Malachi back and forth until he gets up. Can I curl up on the ground next to you with my little blanket on? Aww. Actually, if we want to take a short rest, you know, I'd be persuaded. Um, I think Malachi's intent on having a good look. He's a good nap. Is it, is, it, is it past your bed? Is it past your nap time, old man? I'm the first one. I'm not that to rest. That's something. something. Yeah, we have been I guess. all day. Yeah. You know, killing out, killing dragons. Mm -hmm. Do we need to want to? Okay, rest I could really use. I could. I could benefit from short rest. Anyone else? Oh, like a small rest. Of, mm, short rest an hour is it? Yep. Make things a little easier. I don't need a short rest, so I'll stay watch. Okay. okay. Right. Oh, don't you sleep? Though. I don't sleep in the first place, but I haven't lost anything. So so good. Good. You're, good. You're, you're, you're a permanent guard. You know. I'll use arcane recovery in that case. Get back yep, to that's fine. So short rest, <laughs> so you can use hit dice if you need them. I've got five temp HP for some reason. You never know why that is. I've got ten. I don't know why. That's cool. Is that? So I see. It's like an aid. Oh, I cast aid. Yeah, at the yeah. start of the day. Okay. Is that taking a Otherwise, you could ask Yeah, I'm sure Can I try and sh cut someone's shadow off while they're sleeping? Uh, you can. Do I hate the <laughs> It's particularly mean, but yes, you can. I'm going to try and cut Harleen's shadow off. Okay. <laughs> Harleen, <laughs> Harleen, roll perception check. Uh, yeah, or she can willingly. Or you can willingly have your shadow chopped off. 22. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll say to Harleen if she notices what I'm doing, I'll say... I just want some company while I'm keeping watch. Have you not already taken someone else's shadow? It ran away. Oh, it did, didn't it? <laughs> uh, what will happen to me if you take my shadow? You 
won't have a shadow. Will, will that affect me in any way? No. <laughs> can I roll insight to see if it's telling the truth? Uh, yes, you can. Yeah. Four, that's seven. Yes, you can. So was that seven? Seven. Uh, so, I mean, I'm telling the truth as far as I know, but I so it's persuasion twenty seven. Yeah, so you, so you're pretty convinced by what she says. You know, she knows her stuff. Whatever she says seems to be true. Are you gonna let me have your show? I, no, no, I do not because I still don't trust you. You're a doll made by Blinsky. What in your right mind makes you think I'm gonna trust you? That's a very valid question. <laughs> I put my scissors away a little bit sad and then I walk over into the corner and put myself down. Take anyone else's shadow but mine, please. <laughs> I look around but I don't want their shadows. <laughs> oh. That makes me uncomfortable knowing that they don't want they don't want their shadows. Okay. So anybody else doing anything else on a short rest? How's the rain out by you, Rose? It has not stopped all day. No, it's good. Yeah, we really needed the rain. Just hoping there'll be a respite so the ground can actually soak it up so it won't just flood. Okay. So you are. You are sort of here in this sort of little. I guess clearing bit. Um, you can scout and see where you think the path goes um, if you want to. Or you can do something else. What would you like to do after your short rest? Is everybody healed and sorted? I can do some more healing if you want. Well, the monster will be in the middle of the fight. Yes. I can't really do it then. Alright, we'll give you a. Have you used your hit dice? On a short rest, did you use your hit dice? Have another three, have another eight as well. Okay. Yes. So you come out of this part, and it it looks like on the other side of the hut, the path sort of you can just if you investigate it a little bit, you can see there's a path that looks like it goes up this way, and a path that looks like it comes down that way. Maybe visibility worse. Visibility is about five to ten foot. If you light a torch, it almost, it's like putting fog lights on. If anyone lights yeah, a does torch, anyone light I'm dumping it in the light. It's almost it's, like putting it's, fog it's lights on. Draw attention to ourselves, we're in the middle of an unknown swamp. 
God knows what that sound in the distance is. It's a fog horn. Um, it is literally a fog horn. No, I hate that. I'm a fog horn from my fog horn from my fire, whining at the moment. It's a giant roof, so I'm just going to fall from the fog horn. Do you go left or go right? I don't suppose you'll let me do a nature check to see if anything's no. around these parts. Uh, yeah, you can do a nature check if you want to. Yeah. Eleven? Um, you don't really, you think there's probably frogs around here, <coughs> um, but you're not really getting the sense of very much else. You don't, you've not heard any wolves, you've not heard any, you've seen, um, you've heard a lot of sort of uh, flies and skeetos. You've um, roll a uh, history. History. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you've heard that there's all sorts of uh, things that um, um, might live in some of the in in bits of bravery, and, and uh, um, you're sort of starting to wonder whether or not this might be the kind of environment where uh, some of these creatures um, uh, might uh, live. You've heard about um, uh, Sturge uh, sucking blood out of giant killer mosquitoes. Um, you um, have heard about trolls um, uh, in, in the, the swamps. Um, you also have heard that uh, some of the uh, ruins um, around Barovia are said to be haunted. Mm. Mm. Are there ruins here, you know? Um, you know that there are ruins in uh, Barres, and you know that there is a stone circle somewhere in Barres. That's why you head down there in the first place. Would it be possible for me at all to do some sort of history check based on the books that I've read about the yeah. um, swamp? Absolutely. Not that I have any good history modifier. No, that's a fire. Um, so, with the uh, with the information that you know, you are um, you are pretty sure that uh, that this was uh, once a big farming uh, sort of town. That mm -hmm. Berez was once a very sort of uh, prosperous. Um, farming fishing village uh, people used to fish in the Luna River um, and that um, at some point uh, this land got um, sort of severely uh, flooded um, and you understand that um, somewhere supposedly in this swamp uh, lives a um, a, a a creature of some description, whether that's a witch or, or whatever, that professes to be the mother of Strah. You know, this used to be the domain of the Water Fae. Yep. And now she claims to be the Water Fae. Mm -hmm. I think we're heading east. Okay, so you're going to go east. Okay. Oh, so it's a southeast. Yep. Yep. Well, if you still I imagine Dolly's one of those You going to keep going down that way? Okay. Oh, we're just following the path. The path of the northwest and the southeast. Is it just kind of water either side still on there? Um, you um again roll a um, a, a sort of perception check. Um, yeah. Okay. 
You'll notice there's a swamp as far as the swamp from that. Right, um, you think that you can hear um, a river further off to the east of where you are now. We should go to the river if we can, I think. We're heading in that direction, aren't we? It seems like we're heading west. The river is to east. And I wonder if we're heading west. Oh, sounds Yeah, you think, sorry, you can go east. There's a sound of a river. We should go east. There's this way, which is southeast, or there's this way, which would be west. Yes, southeast. Yeah. I think southeast. Okay. Okay. What's the mark of water? Who's in front of it? Do I have a blue? Do I have a stick? Do I have a stick and a walk of water? Oh, so don't fall into the floor. I don't fall into the floor. It's quite as bad. It's a blind leader. A blind leader. The rest of them. Mm. Um, again, um, roll perception. And can someone do that? Um, no, not for this one. Not a lot. Six. Um, yeah, you're having a... Tally ho! Yep, you're having a reasonable, tough time finding the path. Um... Oh, um, my hope can give me my familiarity with my other possessions. Now I'll be better at 13. Okay, um... Thirty, you have got the hangout of sending the hawk very low, mm. um, sort of in the mist, uh, rather than up above the mist where you would normally send them. Um, and the hawk has told you that somewhere further down this path appears to be um, both some ruins and uh, beyond that, um, what looks like another sort of um, wooden shack. I'll relay that to the party quietly. Let's go see the water. Uh, yeah, let's keep going. Yeah. Going down the path. Okay. Another event. What do you want? Well, we're coming down the rain and then there was a swamp. Every shack is like a dog's end. Two alerts are coming, I suppose. As you. As you. Um, uh, come down this path um, you you find yourself within a, a sort of a ruined um, a, a sort of a ruined city um, you can you can see the um, the buildings and the the out the sort of uh, where this um, um, where this town uh, once stood and you can uh, hear movement uh, within these ruins. Mm. There's a series of like military type gestures. Is it the still sort of swampy where the city is? It is all pretty, pretty swampy. So it's ruins sort of coming out of a swamp. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, you can roll a history check. Building a city on the on top of a swamp that's good to her own. Um, with a a thirteen, um, you know, um, that um that these ruins are um um are all are all over this area. That this was quite a big um a big town. Um, once upon a time, um, and you um, think that um, these ruins are likely to be scattered uh, all around here. Um, you can hear somebody uh, calling for help. Okay. Oh, oh, no, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. 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 I don't
I'm drawing, I'm drawing both daggers in preparation. Okay. So you can see these sort of tall um, um, you can see these tall buildings um, uh, around you um, sort of uh, scattered um, in the mist very difficult to um, see anything at all um, so there's so there's again there's heavy mist and you can hear um cries for help coming from this sort of what looks like this ruined uh building uh to um to uh, your right If Malachi's going inside the building, I'd like to do a perimeter check if I can. Of the room building? Uh, sorry, no, I'd like to have um, Samuel kind of have a look around the area. Okay. Okay. I'm keeping Over watch side. is what I'd like to do. Over his side, I'm looking for any, any magical crap. So... With Eldritch, what's your what's your range on Eldritch? Eldritch side is thirty feet, but I've got dark vision at one point. Okay. I also have dark vision. For okay. Um, so you can see from where you are. Let me see. A couple of things. You can see what appears to be two scarecrows. Um, uh, stood in a uh, stood in a field. Um, you uh, see these with the so, Eldritch side? Uh, no, you can just see them with your dark That's vision. Nice. So they're definitely like evil shit, yeah. Just like three standing right next to each other. Um, I mean, two scarecrows so close to each other. That's that's a little bit odd. It's just ineffective. What, okay. were the <laughs> what were they thinking? Oh, what the, the Lord! You also, <laughs> you also think that you can hear. Um, uh, you think you can hear. Um, uh, um, you can detect um, probably ghosts, you think, right on the periphery, sort of coming in and out of the very periphery of Malachi. your vision. Malachi. Malachi is saving the child. You've got Do you have walls? Um, at least we're surrounded by spirits. Um, I kind of want Malachi to confirm that he has the capability to do so. Since I'm dead or something. I think Malachi's gone, hasn't he? Okay. All right then. Politely. Are you haunted? Sorry. What does that mean? <laughs> I kind of Sorry, that I don't know why that's targeted. That sorry, that's because I've not. <laughs> Let me just take that randomly measured template now. Living. I'm making ghosts. Um. <laughs> You can detect living thoughts. Um, yeah, there's not much around here. Um, <laughs> I know you uh, said that's just a mistake, but it does I'll, look like I'll I'm sitting there and, and, and nervously playing. No, 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 that was... Um, I'll sit nervously playing. Yeah, because it, it, it keeps, put it, it keeps really leaving like, target, oh, target lock on. Can anyone in this I'll, uh, video say? I'll, <laughs> there we go. I'll be, Nervously playing a little ditty on my thing, half casting protection versus evil on myself. Okay. That will give disadvantage to aberration, celestial, oh. elemental, fire things, and yeah. I'm dead. <laughs> Is Malachi like gone gone? 
Or Malachi is just sort of that headed that into this this set of you can see him climbing over the set of of ruins over that. here. Okay, so you're going to. Okay, you're going to follow Malachi. I'm going to. And then so, and take this down for a minute. Because... Would you prefer a vampire? Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to take this down for a second and then reload it. <laughs> um, so, as you as you go into the ruins, you see um, what appears to be um, a reasonably young child just sitting um, uh, in in this ruined um, building. Yes. You can shout out to him if you no, want to. Yeah. Could I do a history check if that was the same voice I heard from the, the doll that I picked up? Yes, you can. That's going to be a 10. Um. Actually, I'm going to use my little thing that I get. Hang on. Oh, no, wait. I'm a living puppet, but I don't use these stats. Doesn't matter. Yeah, with a 10, it's difficult to... It it was a a young male voice, and this is a young Mm -hmm. male. So, could be. That's a lot of young male. So, I'm going to slowly step up to the job. Oh, my child, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> there is something about Malachi that's just terrifying. <laughs> it's all right, my child. Who, we are not worried about. <laughs> yeah, it's just scary shit, man. Um, so, so this, um, uh, this child's like, um, he's, he's, um, clearly frightened um he's 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 shaking um he's shaking he's frightened and he's just looking around and um, and he just leads forward and goes, shh. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is the kid about the same age as me? Uh, probably a little bit younger. I might go in and get out the old bag of sweets. Ah, oh, <laughs> bribery of the child. Yeah, I'll sit down at his level next to him. Do you want some? Are you scared? Um... He doesn't take any sweets, which clearly obviously makes him very suspect. Um, he he doesn't take any sweets. He he's just looking around, very frightened, um, going shh. Um, Does it know that we're here? Can I? Yes. Can and I do he's sort of well. pointing out like this. What can we see? Look up, what can I see? Yeah, can um, I you can roll a perception check. That's a problem. I don't see shit. What do you mean? You have no idea what he's frightened of. 22. At all. Um, as your. Okay. So, Ethedwe, you're in there giving him sweets and talking to him. Um, with a 25, you are pretty sure that you can see um, um, a ghoul or a ghost or some kind of nasty beast crawling through the shadows of this ruin over here. Mm. With a, what was what was that, Bash? Twenty-two. 
uh, with a 22. Again, you think this whole area here is almost like a, a graveyard. There are ghouls, um, there are ghosts. Um, with a 23, you're more worried that right over on the far edge, you're pretty sure you saw a banshee just flitting across. Can I do a check for that being outside? Pardon? Yeah. Could I do like that check as well? Could I keep a health action? Yeah. You can look as well. Can I look as well? Mm. I won't get anything. This is me, but... Seventeen. Um, with a seventeen, um, you see um, these scarecrows, which are down here along the back, um, start to um, start to move and walk along. Um, I'm going to. Can I message one of the sca scarecrows? Yeah, why not? <laughs> you can try and message a scarecrow. Go oh, for it. Can I say to the scarecrow, "Hi, friend. I'm made of wood, but you're made of straw. We don't want to hurt you." Um, they. You don't get the sense that they are listening. They're just moving. Okay. I'll be getting back to the rest of the park. Can I please okay. have one of these scarecrows with my stalker spray? Slayer spray? Uh, yeah. That's fine. Yes. So you are pretty sure that this that this whole ruin is just completely full of of patrolling, roaming, undead beasts of varying descriptions. Can I message someone inside? Probably Malachi. Yep. Um, and I'll say, Hi, cleric man. Um, there's scary undead things out here. I don't want to stay out here. It's really close. Oh. I'm going to go inside. No, well, I'm, 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 I'm really stuck. Stuck. I'm, I'm I've got a knees shaking doing a Scooby Doo <laughs> waiting around outside for maybe two seconds. Oh, thank you. What did you see that makes you look so wise? As I said to you before, these aren't the fringy undead. Should we try to leave? Yeah, let's go. Don't think. Uh, he he started to to follow you. Oh. Yeah, mm. yeah. I want to try touching the kid. Does anyone here have um, strength score? No. Nope. Yeah, she's strong. Halim, have you got a strength what? score? Is it Halim? Um, sixteen. Sixteen. Pretty good for us. It's insanely good for us. Um, Halim. Oh, yeah. Aline, could you grab the kid? And then I think we're going to start backing away if we can. Seems to be the vibe. I mean, we could just turn around and go a different direction. Yeah. <laughs> no. All right. Skirt, we've got the kid. We're going to press on forward. You see this sort of. As you're. As you're, as you're starting to. Um, uh, retreat um, with this uh, with this kid. 
and you sort of so the kid is corporeal. Yeah, the kid's very corporeal. Oh, um, for God's sake! I'll pass protection from undead on the kid. I don't think that's that's just bullshit. But it was extremely dangerous. Um, um, you see this mist starting this this sort of this thick it's different it's not the same mist as sort of barovian mist starting to move towards you in a very um almost corporeal way but very definitely mist could i try to target it with my stalker's prey uh yeah if you rule for such a creature or not yeah, yeah. Um, it is. Oh, that's a good question. What kind of creature would it count as? On seeing the um, fog coming towards him, Bash is just going to stop breathing. Because he doesn't need to breathe. He just does it. Yeah, he doesn't need one creature I can see within 60 feet. Doesn't have to say what happens to that creature. So you think this is. You think this is um, literally some kind of uh, toxic, dangerous mist as opposed to a creature per se. Um, You have read about these kind of things and uh, you, you think that if people come into contact with this, it just sucks the very life out of you um, as you come into it. Hmm. Uh, it's not so much poisonous as life draining. It's not acid. I've got a potion of acid resistance. Um, I feel like that would help. No, you feel that this is more of a undead, necrotic, life draining kind of vibe. <laughs> So in front of you, from where you are, so this thing's coming in here, so you've got ruins here, you've got ruins there, you've seen some ghouls in and amongst these shadows, you've seen some ghouls in and amongst these shadows on this side, Um, you... Uh, Vash thinks he saw something that looked maybe like something like a banshee or something flitting right on the far side of this. You've got this horrible sort of draining toxic mist. You've acquired a child. Um, acquired can, I use, child. can I use my Eldritch Sight to see if this incoming mist is magical? It's not magical. Uh, it's not magical. Damn. It's so just we nasty ass. We'll just keep back back. I'm going to try to stop was the mist? It was moving towards us. Uh, yes. Yeah. It is moving towards you. And then you've got very difficult to see because it's very dark. You've got two scarecrows. You've got one here and one here. So you've got a scarecrow here, a scarecrow here, mist across there, and then you've got ruined buildings going off in these directions. Where would you like to go? Can we see where the fog's coming from? Uh, it just appears to be rolling in. Um, I don't think we should move away from the fog. Yeah, we're, we're, we're high. I know that we don't want to hear Let's go. There is another way. We could just turn around and try the other direction. Let's just yeah. leave, shall we? Yes. Let's have a bit of death. Alright, so right now, you've got these two ambulance scarecrows sort of wandering in along here. There's one there, one there, and then you've got mist rolling in here, and then there's further mist sort of right out here. Are the ruins stopping us moving to the left? Uh, No, no, no. You know there's ghouls and maybe a banshee to the left. Can I do a check if I know what a banshee is? Yeah. You can do a check and see if you know what to mention. Will you let me will you let me use nature for that? Uh yeah, because you're a monster hunter. Okay. Goodness. Uh 
That proficient that expertise is really paying off when I roll a two on the dice. Um, that is a ten. Uh, with a ten, you 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 saw them in a book mm-hmm. in the library. Um, there was something about bad dying. Mm. Uh, it's probably like most of the things in most of the books I read. Yeah, it's hard. They all kind of merge into one after a while. Yeah, fair enough. There was bad and dying in there. God, I was keen to go over to the left. So, I've read about these. I'm confident there's nothing that could possibly go wrong. Can I just take so some holy water, water out of my yeah. thing? And I'm just going to hold it. Maybe we should read this. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to all move towards the left? Yeah. All right, all right, I'm sorry. Basic rule of strategy and combat. Don't all stand in the beavers as a current hurry. Let's all find some space. Let's take about 10 foot steps back, mm-hmm. and then maybe we can move. Oh, Rather than standing in this weird two by three position, we always walk around. <laughs> <laughs> but that also would make. That's the drag and drop position. Well, that turns. Let's stick in the strange. Let's stick in the I'm not considered undead mechanically, but I'm, I'm going to play along. I'm not. Too far, not to. We can't get to contact with you. Are you taking. We absolutely Are you taking. Just screams at us at a time. Fucking great. You know, I've got to say, I'll take my chances with the undead. I'm going to. I can't use another uh, vanishing trick, but I will just scuttle off like 15, 20 or so feet from the party okay. outside the box that's about to be hit with a fireball or something. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a stretch that I would know this yet. Like, well, outside I'd the kill zone. Try to kill you a bunch. Okay, so <laughs> you've got undead anyway. stuff that you know is over here. You've got mist that you're worried about over here. You've got two... Um, Scarecrow. Scarecrows over there. Where would you where would you like to go? To the left. All all going to the left. All ten feet yes. apart. But I'm going twenty feet apart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. Alright. Yeah. Sorry, is it not sharing? Well, there is, yes. Yeah. Sorry. Hold on. Mm. Give me one second. There you go. All right. I will move you, and then I shall. Promise. As soon as as soon as it starts streaming, it it it. it kills all speed that's the that's the challenge uh anyway um no 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 you're fine um so ethered will move you over antoinette where would you like to go where would you like to go over there 20 feet apart my yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, I'm going to use a charge of my um, sitter. Yeah. I'm going 30 feet in the air. Okay. Fine. Okay, so you're going up. Are you staying where you are? I'm here hovering above the group. 30 feet in the air. Where in relation to everybody else? Um, I'm pretty much directly above stuff. Malachi. Uh, above so Malachi. Stuff. 30 feet above him. Okay, Malachi, where would you like to go? Um, I'm going to just, yeah, keep moving to that. So Up here? Yeah. All right, we'll go over there. I'm basically hovering the bottom. Of the and, and you're hovering. Okay. Uh, there's a child that you've left... <clears throat> In the middle, no, I'm taking um, the, child, the, child's the child's going on this trip. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Child so, also has um, protection from undead. Yes. yes, they do. Well, I, do I know if that will help against? I don't know much about that. Actually, I'll tell you. What's that? You're trying hard not to mess again. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just. 
Samurai is special. There we go. I decided that was right. Really. <laughs> <And yeah. laughs> Knowing about monsters, it needs to be. Oh, come on. There we go. Right. Now you should be able to see. There you go. All right. Is so the terrain still really swampy? The terrain is, no, it's not so much swampy. This is like climbing over rocks and boulders. And um, uh, so it's it's not swampy. It's rocky, uh, ruined, big lumps of boulder. Um, it's a broken cobble, that kind of stuff. Um, so you're all here. You go. So you're all scattered mm-hmm. around in this. As you've come across here, we'll move the child in a minute. Backwards. Yes. Yeah, you can. Why would you want to do that? Because I'm looking. You look at the kill zone. Yeah, pretty much. That's monster yeah, hunters yeah. for you. So you're a range guy, so you're like... Yes, I also, I also have a 120-foot range and don't need to be any closer. Also, yeah, I need to be a question while we're being sticking to a two-wide <laughs> Because we're in the middle of a spot, sticking to a very narrow Oh, path. okay, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I just like to picture us walking through a field all in formation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> very disappointing. Very disappointing. Yeah. Okay, so... Mm-hmm. Um, we'll move you back. You've duplicated for some reason, but it's fine. Okay, there we go. Um, Sorry. Let's try and unclick so you can see everything. Okay. You can see what looks like. Yeah, don't have as you've come into this sort of, you can see a banshee here. Uh-huh. What did I just miss? Uh, the ban- the banshee. Just- Banshees are the ones with the big squeals. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. So there's a banshee here. And then further back up here, you can see what appear to be a couple of ghosts. And uh, a couple of ghouls sort of rooting around in the. Uh, um, this is going to get hairy quickly. Uh, I'm actually going to activate his form of dread. Heavy encounter. While in the sky. What? What? And I'm dead? It'll stop me from being frightened. Oh, that's probably sensitive. And it gives me tap out to Okay. Uh, are you. So this, as you're, my holy water my <laughs> so as you're, as you're standing there, this, this, um, this banshee starts to float gently over towards you, sort of on the, almost on the breeze. Um, you see the mist just continuing down that where you were. Um, so the mist that was rolling in is just rolling, almost like it's being blown in a in a straight sort of uh, path. Does the bench look like it can see us? Is aware of our presence? Um, roll insight. Not my uh, Seven. Uh, you uh, have no idea. Um, you you can roll history, or you can roll, um, mm, yeah, mainly probably history in terms of whether you know anything about them. Um, so you've never really encountered anything like this, but you've not met many undead creatures that are desperately friendly. Yes. Um, and everybody seems quite nervy about this particular, um, about this particular one. And does it appear that the ghouls and the ghosts are kind of like subservient to the banshee, or that they're, they're like they don't appear? Or? They appear to be 
but, just, yeah, you know, they appear to be place, yeah, they appear to be further back into the ruins. Oh, okay. Um, and this this banshee is the 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 big problem, and uh, that's currently floating towards you mm-hmm. in these in the ruins. Um, roll for initiative. Finally, a good roll. 20. Nice. Well done, Harleen. Another 20. Mm. Another just makes it feel like that. What's your dex, Harleen? Uh, plus 3. 16. What's your dex, Andrew, there? Oh, sorry. It was a dirty 20. Was... And oh, your dex? Yes, oh, right. plus 2. So, Harleen first on that. Antoinette. Uh, Vash. 18. That's a dream. <laughs> okay, fine. Malachi? Eight. Oh my god. <laughs> so random. Um, got a. 20, uh, no, 16. Hi, Dex. And the alert. You played a Wapperton? The Wapperton? Because you had your proficiency as well. Okay. Hello, just letting you know, I might have to leave. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, we won't. We won't run past ten. Yeah, we. Yeah, we're not running past ten. Um. We'll run first round, and then we're stopping. So, in fact, we'll not. We'll roll initiative, we'll record the initiative, and then we're going to stop. Sorry. And you can sit, no, 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 no. It makes okay. a more sensible place. And you can start start here next time. So I've got Etherdwit at 29, Harleen at 20, Antoinette at 20, Vash 18, Godot 16, Malachi 8, and this banshee is sweeping in. It's long, almost ethereal arms trailing behind you. And as you stand there, opens its mouth. Oh, no. So oh, no. I am so glad I'm 30 feet. Yeah. Ready to scream. No, no, no. And we'll, we'll leave it there. Do for I next have silence? Oh, no. Is it hair? Is it hair like in the air? The hair is flailing, flailing, and we will leave it there.